What's up, Wargamers? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. Today we're gonna do a quick, short video because I went to a show yesterday and I feel like it's not. So, we're gonna take a look at this box that I have been waiting patiently to open up and start painting the models. This is the Triassic 5 from Rumble Slam, so it has two things that I love, professional wrestlers and dinosaurs. What's not to love in that situation? I, I don't I don't know. If you don't love that, this may be the wrong place for you. So let's flip this camera around. Let's take a look at what's inside this box. So in this box, we have a team that is worth 1.25K or 1,025,000 DOSH, which is your, your fundage, your money that you use to buy things. And we've got a T-Rex, an absolutely adorable axolotl thing, a pterodactyl, which I, I and I know that the wing like that is meant to indicate it's sweeping. It just that looks a little bit odd to me. This fire blowing thing over here that looks absolutely awesome. I love this little effect piece right here, and then this big body dude right here. This team has it looks like two big bodies. Looks like it's got two on big bases, and then some that are on smaller bases. So let's chop into this thing and see what we're working with here. Okay, so here we have some fairly well bubble wrap. Oh God, they're heavy. I like that. So we got our cards. I want to. I gotta know what their names are. That's one of the things that I've been really curious about. So we have a Gecko Fire Breather, an Axolotl Cutie. Oh my God, that name is so perfect because it is in fact an Axolotl Cutie. We've got a Pterodacrobat. Oh my God, this game is rife with puns and I absolutely love it. Stubby Dunker, what a great name. Oh, go get old Stubby Dunker, he'll fix it. T-Flex, get out of here. T-Frickin-Flex, are you serious right now? That's the best thing I've seen all day. T freaking flex. Amazing. Now, let me get one of these out. It is two big bases. Let me see, do they have a backing on them? Because the other bases that came in the starter box were clear, like clear, clear. So I wonder if these, like that one, see that one's clear. So that you can see the mat underneath it. I'm, I'm guessing that they probably have a backing on them that you just have to peel off. The first time I got any kind of acrylic tokens, I didn't know that they had a backing. And so I just left it on there not knowing any better. I'm not going to deal with that right now, but I'm assuming that's what it is. I think they're supposed to be, you know, clear where you can see through to the mat underneath. So I'll sort that out later. Now, fun, fun fact, if you are buying these models, um, fun, helpful, potentially tip when you're dealing with clear stuff like this when you go to glue your model on if you will spray the base with a clear varnish gloss matte satin whatever is to your liking it will prevent that fogging up of the glue reacting with that clear acrylic there's other ways that you can deal with that problem but that's the way that i found that works best for me over the years and then to the let's get to the main show the piece de resistance where is the opening? There it is. Let's see what we're gonna grab out of here first. Now these are in more pieces than the starter kit models. Those are all single piece models. And the smaller ones, such as our Axolotl Cutie, are single piece. Um, there, you gotta cut them off the, the gates and the the stuff. And that's fine, that's nothing, but that's a single piece, and that is just an adorable sculpt. Like I just, I can't freaking even with this thing. Cannot. 
All right, so this is part of Stubby Dunker. Great detail on those scales, even into the that little texture that they've got in there. I really wish there was a Triceratops in here named Sarah, but I'll do the best I can with that. This is another piece. This is one of Stubby Dunker's arms. This up here looks amazing. That's going to take paint right away. This is going to, this right here is going to take dry brush so well. This is going to be, these models are going to be good for slap chopping because they have lots of good texture on them. And that's Stubby Dunker's tail, or at least part of it. It looks like there may be some pieces that glue on there, but maybe it's, it may be supposed to be ground down. He may have his tail ground down for fighting in the ring. And then there should be another arm. There is. Beautiful texture on the skin, even on the, the scale work on the skin. All this chunky armor plating. Really, really, really like this model. TT Combat's resin, for the most part, is pretty nice. Sorry about that. Not sure what I did wrong. Next, we've got some pieces for T-Flex. Here's his head. Body, which has the tail attached. Now, I would have liked to have seen, I think, maybe a little bit more of this scaly texture here on the legs and especially on the tail. This is very, very similar. We got a bit of a mold line right there. That's going to have to get cleaned up, but it's not too bad. I've seen much worse. I like his little tank top. And then for him, we've got... Two arms? Are these his arms? I think these are his arms. <laughs> so little tiny T-Flex arms. They've got a little bit of that texture on them. Not an enormous amount, but a little, which is a small piece, so you can only really fit so much on there. Now the legs have a little bit more of that detailing that I like to see. So you got some good texture there. He's got like knee wraps on nice little piece of fabric to switch up the texture as we paint and give us an opportunity he's a pretty big model so he's gonna give us an opportunity to get a little bit more color on him some different places maybe create a little bit more contrast we have our terra dacrobat zooming through good texture on his wings i like him i like that a lot He's even got a little kind of abs on the bottom part. Looks like a pretty good casting. And finally, we have our Gecko Fire Breather. So that's the fire effect. That's his head, which will attach thusly for full effect. Good definition on these models, on all of them, as far as the, the musculature and those those aspects of the detailing guys. But on all of them, being that they are lizards, I would have I would like to have seen a little bit more of the textures. But this is very cool that it's got this kind of built-in effect piece. I love stuff like that right there. It can be a pain to paint sometimes, but when you get it, it's very, very satisfying. And there, my friends, we have the Triassic 5 for Rumble Slam from TT Combat. Thanks for tuning in, hanging out while I ripped into the pile of opportunity today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server. Talk to me, hang out with me, talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, 
some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.